guys, this is Kim with Patty, Patty Scrapper. I finally finished my Graphic 45. Twas the night before Christmas. This is basically a nine by nine, I believe. Let me go ahead and make sure. Um, it's not exact. As you can see, the shape is a little bit. Oops, there it is. Mia's gonna grab it for me. Whoops, right there. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yes, nine by nine. So that's perfect. Okay, so it's close enough. Okay, so let me start off with a front. Okay, so this is some laces um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. And um, these I possibly got from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, but I'm thinking these were Hobby Lobby. I know this was Hobby Lobby, and then I went ahead and put some lace around it. Um, this is graphic 45 and then around here I distressed um, this with the walnut stain and throughout the whole book I distressed everything with walnut stain just to keep it uniform. This here is actually a ribbon um, that I cut um, because I thought it had you know a little bit too much gap of a, a space here after I put the fencing on. Um, this is also from their Christmas collection. I have no idea why. <laughs> Why they have just fence but um i don't know maybe it's for their little train houses or whatever you want to call them that they they have those little scenes um but anyway this ribbon is is was on a roll in their you know christmas wrapping section um this is one of the buttons from graphic 45 and i just um distressed edge that with a walnut stain and then i use some of this mini wax mini wax um Poly acrylic. I also did that on here, but before I did that, I used my um, I think this was the diamond stickles or the crystal, and then this right here, of course, is um, the uh, snow text crackle stuff. And um, I got that idea from Saw and Song, so I really love this stuff. Um, and first of all, I used my I don't know what you're crackle oat stuff from Martha Stewart first and then I waited for that to dry and then on top of it I put the snow text on just to make sure that it was super super sturdy then I waited for that to dry then over that I again used the polyacrylic um, then I sprinkled on some glitter dust and it was just you know the iridescent glitter dust nothing no big deal and I just did that around the edges here let me turn the book to the side here real fast. So this right here, um, this is actually another ribbon, but it's a um, sweater ribbon. Mia is right behind you. Can you throw it to me? Yes. Sorry, we're gonna do a little gym, jungle gym here, but this is it. You get it half off right now, or well, it was half off last week at Hobby Lobby. It's $14.99 normally, but um, I got half off. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and then of course this is just a mixture of my ribbons that I have here I made this really simple this is a little chain with um, again this is from the Hobby Lobby Christmas section I don't remember where I got these honestly but this one says peace and then I have like a little clock and um, I was gonna do a um, a I don't know what you call it the, the watches that pop open or whatever but I don't know what I do with it let's see if you me. There we go. I don't think y'all can see the. I can't even see with this. Okay, so the piece and then the clock. And um, then on the back. So instead of um, putting the um, flowers on the back and stuff, I just you know left it the lace. And then again, I did this work. And then again, this is another button. And um, I'll show you how I kind of completed that in a second. But um, again, this is actually the post office U USPS boxes. And um, I just cut it to the 9 by 9 and then I cut this the um, width that I would need it um, for this book. Good then, way to save money. Yeah, it is a good way to save money. But um, I really prefer crescent board. But um, I just happened to be trying these boxes and I thought um, Tamara was using them and I thought I would try them and so now I've kind of gotten addicted and yes, it does save money. Um, I, I figure I don't feel so bad since I actually ship them off in their boxes anyway. So 
I, I, I use their services regardless. So I feel like, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's my first page. All right, I'm gonna try to move this back a little bit. You can see my messy, crazy looking table. So on my first page, this is the inside cover. Um, basically, it says season's greetings and I made like a little booklet with a little button. <laughs> and then you just kind of open it. A little snowflake to cover up the mess I made with button. Normally, um, I think these things through, but lately I've just been kind of just doing things and then I think afterwards. So I got to start doing that a little more often. And of course I use my score tape to put this together. Um, my inside cover, uh, well the top cover is again green and if you watch my previous videos you'll realize that I didn't like this green texture paper. I like the color but I don't like texture because it tears. Um, and then this is um, red cardstock. Oh my goodness, I guess I'm going to have to score tape that down again. It's kind of lifting. Oh, that's crazy. I've never had that happen before. Okay, or maybe I just didn't push it down hard enough. Um, so here we have... Um, two tags. I made this one with a little fold over and then I have a little gingerbread girl there. And then this comes from, this was from the six by six paper pad and I just cut it in half. This is um, one of their tags and pockets and it just slides open like that. And then this little dealie here, this little scroll thing, this is from Saw Crafters. And um, I basically um, painted, a, a, no not painted it, I used the um, Tim Holtz um, distress ink around it and then on top of it I painted it red then I waited that for that to dry and then I glittered it and then I did the glossy accents on top. This is just some of the other um, little pine cones and stuff from a set of flowers which I'll show you, show you in a second. Um, this was from um, Hobby Lobby also or it was from Michaels. They come in a set of four I believe of these poinsettias. This is from like hundreds of years ago. And then what I did on here is I glossy accented Santa. And then I went around here with stickles. And this is all the diamond stickles all around here. Then we just have your tags. Um, one side is for your photo and the other side is for journaling. I'm not gonna pull it out, but basically that's that. And um, this I use a tag hole punch and I just use my um, green and red um, it's kind of like a pre-embossed paper, so it's kind of cool. Um, here, yeah, let's make sure you could see that, yeah. Okay, so here I'm gonna move the book over again. Okay, so on this page, um, this has a magnet underneath here. This is the basic gray magnet. Um, this is here for um, a photo mat or journaling or whatever you wanna use it for. I did these little inside um, tags, pockets here. And um, I kind of talked about how to do that in my um, previous videos. On this page I have, it's like a flip open. Um, plenty of space for journaling here and here. And then two photos. And then another photo mat. And I'm not gonna pull them all out anymore because basically they're all um, from the same collection. So, you know, and they all have the same um, uh, background. So on this one, I made my own little box here and then this is with a magnet underneath here. Then I put one of these little present boxes on here and one of these little trees. All of this stuff came from their Hobby Lobby Christmas stuff or Michaels. I mean either one or the other. Um, here's one of their tags. I went ahead and did some snow text on it and then glitter accents. You did a great job, Mommy. Aw, thank you, Nia. She's so sweet, isn't she? And then I made this cute little um, inside thing that holds uh, photos. And basically, these are all by recollections. I got two sets of them, and then I taped it here, here, and here. And then I stuck in a um, piece of the um, brown paper bag paper. But you can <laughs> stick a photo in on both sides just to separate it. So it's like super duper cute. But anyway, this holds like, um, I think 10 photos. Wait, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, 10. 
I just had to make sure. I thought I was crazy for a second there. And then I just kind of used this little um, string that they had for sale, you know, along with their Christmas stuff. Um, here, I'm gonna, well, I was gonna turn it, but maybe I'm not because you're not gonna be able to see it very well. But here, um, I have the two little Christmas trees and then the sled. This is a pocket, but it, it, they do not like run into each other. I put a piece of score tape down the center. So you have your tags. And then of course you have another, another mat board with um, uh, photos one side, journaling on the other. You can see that, isn't that cute? Okay. Then we have this, you just kind of slide here and then it's by magnet. So another little um, flip, little dealy here. And then you can put Christmas cards in here or whatever you want to use for this portion of it. So it's actually like a pocket. Then, next page, I'm sorry, it's got a little bit up. Um, we have our little poinsettias with the green leaves and then there's a magnet underneath this and it just kind of flips over. So you can use smaller photos or journal. And then this opens up. You just take off this little twisty here, you open it up and bada boom, bada boom. It opens up like so. And that's it on that page. And then of course, another pull out mat. Let me see if I can get this back in here right. Once I took it out. Yep. Then, let me see, there we go. Then we have this, um, another tag with another pocket with a tag in it, and this is Holly Jolly. And then this one says, with visions of sugar plums dance in their head. And then this is one of their stickers and magnets, basic grade magnets. Again, all this is score taped in here. Um, this one I used a little bit of the glue gun, like tiny, tiny bit, and then I also used my Scrap Perfect, the best glue ever, to hold it. Oops, hold it down. Love this stuff. Um, this I made a little file folder, and it actually does pull out. I'm not going to pull it out right now. I also, you know, did this little intricate little sewing thing. Um, it's not exactly intricate, it was actually fairly simple. I just made, um, holes every half inch I believe but in my video it talks about it and then of course I'm so sorry then um these are all magnetic so you have several pages to do the journaling and then again you can just pull it out when you want to um and then another mat and okay then we have this page I just love this one so much I just want to leave him just the way he is except that I did do a lot of um Glitter. I don't know if you can really see that, but I did these stickles all in here on this white part, even on the little animal over here. Then, this is one of my favorite things, and I think I saw Tamara do this. I don't know why this is upside down. But anywho, so this is another tag and pocket for some journaling. This has a magnet underneath here, and it just flips open like this. So it's a little gatefold. And you just close it right back up. That's it. Then you have another pull out mat. Now we're almost coming to one of my most favorite pages, um, which has always got to be the end. I've always got to have a, a piece of little resistance at the end. Um, I just have this here as an example that you can tuck a picture in here and here. I don't know why that is stuck to that. Oh my goodness. I guess I got to do some little stuff in here, but yes, you can, you know, put some photos there or a journaling card or whatever you want to do. Um, here, this is my favorite thing. And as I've said before, time and time again, um, I've originally saw this on, um, uh, my creative spirit and she does sell tutorials on this. Um, but I basically did my own thing. I just kind of did measurements. Um, on my own and then went ahead and 
double back this paper. I mean, if you see my video, you'll see me go into it in, in like a lot of detail on how I did it. I really um, don't know how she did hers because again, I didn't buy the video on it. I just kind of figured it out on my own. And then I made two little holes to put the string in for the little button back here. And that's it. I mean, it's just too cute. I just love these little pockets and little nooks and crannies for your photos. You can just do it like that. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. And then of course the back. So that's it. It is finally done. Woohoo! I'm so happy it's over with. But I adore this. Um, I am going to put this up for sale on eBay tonight. Um, so please take a look at it if you need some close up pictures. I'm going to go ahead and post them on there. And so here we go again. Here is the front. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Bye. Mwah.